Hello everyone, I am from the RPA school and I am here to teach you some of the tricks which you can use while automating applications using Blue Prism tool. In my subsequent videos, you will learn a lot about the Blue Prism tool and its interaction with other applications. In fact, I will be showing you some of the features which are not provided by Blue Prism but I will be providing those features which you can use in your projects. Today, my focus will be on showing the trick on how you can drag a formula to the whole column in Excel using Blue Prism. As we know that in Blue Prism we have the MS Excel VBO to perform our tasks but still there are certain actions which are missing when we deal with practical scenarios such as filtering a column, removing duplicates, dragging a formula, creating pivot and various others. For that either we have to do the coding or we need to perform certain other ways to perform the tasks. If you are not from the coding background or mainly from the .NET background, since BP uses the .NET technology or the .NET language as a backend language to perform the task, then no issues. I'll be teaching you the tricks to deal with such scenarios and in fact can provide you some of the customized videos as well, which will help you performing your task. So this is our motto, motto for today, uh, to drag a formula from one cell to a range of cells or to a column. So first we will show you how you can perform the task in Excel. So if you can see here that there are two columns, one is showing the numbers from 1 to 9 and other showing the numbers from 5 to 45. And suppose if you want to perform addition, so we will be writing the formula sum a1, comma b1 and here comes sum. And if we just double click on this, we can see that the formula gets copy pasted to the whole column. Now if you want to perform the similar kind of task in Blue Prism, then it's a tedious task. Because when we are dealing with lakhs and lakhs of records, then obviously we cannot use the loop to write all the formulas in the particular column. It will be very beneficial if we can just do the drag and drop in this scenario so that it will be easy for us to perform the calculations. So what we can do in this case, I'll show you using the diagram which I have created. I have already created a process in which I will show you. First I have created the instance using the MS Excel VBO. This will be giving me handle as output. Then I am creating a workbook. This is the same, the similar workbook which I shown you earlier. This is the file path where my Excel is present. And using this, we'll be just, and it will be just giving workbook name as output. After opening the workbook, I am showing that workbook so that whatever calculations are being performed, I'll be able to see it. So it requires only handle as input and no output. After that, what we have done manually, we have inserted this formula in cell C1, right? So we will be performing the same task using Blue Prism. We will be setting the cell value with this formula. Okay, so we'll be inserting the formula in cell C1. So for this, we'll be using this set cell value. This is a cell reference. That means in C1, we want to insert the value. And what value we want to insert? This is the formula. Okay. Now we want the trick, right? So the trick is, if suppose you just copy this particular value, okay? I'm just removing all these values. I'll be just copying this value and select the remaining range. And if I just paste it, okay, you can see that this drag and drop functionality worked, right? So I'll be performing the similar kind of scenario in Blue Prism. What I'll be doing, I'll be just going C1, copying its value, I'll be selecting the whole range and then pasting that value. 
so you can see that I have already set the formula on cell C1 now I'll be going to the cell C1 this is the action after that it will copy that value it requires only two parameters handle and workbook which we already have there are no outputs and then how will you get to know that how many number of rows are there for that we will be using get number of rows action from the ms excel video okay it requires three inputs handle workbook name and worksheet name i have provided handle and workbook name but not worksheet name because it's optional if you want you can provide you can just give sheet one as a worksheet name otherwise it will take the default value that is sheet one and it will give us the number of rows okay and whose data type is number after this we will be selecting the rows right so for selecting the rows we will be using the cell reference so what, what is the cell reference if i just click on this full expression editor i want to select from c1 to number of rows okay we can evaluate this expression as well suppose the number of rows come as 10 so if i just click on test so the value comes c1 to c10 that means we will be just writing the formula in the range c1 to c10 okay after that we will be just pasting it so uh, while pasting we require three parameters that is handle workbook and values only so if i just write true in case of values only in that case my formula will not get copy pasted so that means this trick won't work okay so if you want to just copy paste the values in that case we have to set the flag true otherwise if we want the special values these are the special values like right? the formulas so if you want to copy the formulas as well in that case we will be setting the values as false and there are no outputs for this and after that we can just close all the instances which we created so i'll be just running process so i'm just closing this file i'm just running the process as you can see i have created an instance now the file has opened it has inserted the formula sum a1 comma b1 it has selected the values after that it has pasted the values right so this is the trick how you can just copy a formula and insert that formula into the whole column so now apart from this we'll be dealing with the exception handling as well suppose any kind of exception occurs in the whole process then what will gonna happen obviously it will stop the flow and we don't want that for that we'll be doing the exception handling and how will we be doing that we have just use the simple recover resume stage for the whole page okay and uh, we are using a calculation stage to basically calculate the exceptions which are coming i have used exception type and exception detail inbuilt functions which you can get from this exception exception tab exception type and exception detail okay so suppose i just change the path of the excel okay so i'm just running my bot again you can see that it has gone to the exception path and what is the kind of exception i got this is exception type that is file not found and what is exception detail this file does not exist or is not a file okay So this was a task which we have performed today this was a blue prism flow diagram which we have used and what are the learnings from this today we learned on how we can drag a formula over a range of cells we have used the inbuilt actions of ms excel vbo we have used the block stages and we have used the recover resume stages for capturing the unwanted exceptions okay Thank you everyone, thank you for watching the RPS school videos 
and please subscribe for more videos